<laughs> Where am I right now? Where am I? Ah, McDonald's. McDonald's. It's also official. It's also legal. <laughs> get out of here before I get kicked out. Ah, McDonald's. What the hell am I doing at McDonald's? Mickey D's. Wow. Are they murderers? <laughs> Did they murder? Did they murder cows? All right. So I got a, an interesting story. If you're a uh, if you don't give a shit about animals and you know you're cold-hearted bastard who can't hear hear even for one moment a different point of view on animal cruelty, shut the motherfucker off. Otherwise, listen up because this is a great story. It raises the question of what is cruel? What is what is what is the human the human condition? What is the human reaction to? the suffering of other creatures on this planet. That's what this story is about. So, a butcher kills a baby calf. A butcher, that's his, that's his human occupation. I kill, I chop. Maybe I don't kill, but I chop. I chop the flesh of other beings and I sell it to you so you could eat it. That's the job of the butcher, right? noble profession right is it <laughs> right so he kills a cow a, a calf most of the beef if you're not aware of it most of the uh, the, the cows that are slaughtered are, are calves meaning that they're usually less than six months old they're fucking babies right? ripped from the mother placed on a corn diet they don't that's not their diet they eat they're supposed to eat grass they're supposed to milk, they're supposed to breastfeed, and then switch over to grass. That's what cows eat. They eat grass, not fucking corn. Uh, but that's what they do. They force them to eat corn. Uh, so, so a baby calf is killed and charged with a felony. So what the hell are you talking about? Fucking McDonald's kills, it kills uh, 58 billion cows a year. Or however many, a trillion, a trillion animals a year die are killed for human consumption now that includes little cat you know creatures too like shrimp and and chickens and chickens probably the most tortured creature on the planet shady motherfuckers by this bus stop <laughs> try to get away from them <laughs> it's hard to give a good cunt kick when you got your camera in your hand <laughs> so so what am I talking about? I forgot. Oh yeah. So, so, so what? Are, let's talk about animal cruelty. So, beyond meat and impossible foods today, actually, in other news, impossible foods is presenting to is going to be rolled out at at Burger King as a burger. Now I haven't had the Impossible Burger, and and I don't have a Burger King right here to try it out, but I will try it. Uh, but I have had the Beyond Meat Burger. Eh, it's okay. And, but I had the sausage, the, the fake sausage. And man, that's fucking good sausage, man. It's good fake sausage. Uh, I don't like, the, you know, up to this point as a, as a vegan, a vegetarian, I don't like things that resemble meat or taste like meat. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, hell, you know, for just, for, just for a try once in a while, try a fake meat product. You know, diet is mostly beans and... It's like a, like a Hindu, you know, mostly a million kind of beans and lentils and, you know, every every vegetable imaginable <laughs> you could eat. Uh, so, so back to this terrible story of a, of a cow that dies, a, a calf. Let's call it what it is. A baby cow dies. So sad, right? You, you feel, are you feeling any sympathy whatsoever for the cow? The cow, the, you know, I hope so. So... What happens is this, right? A cow, uh, a, a baby calf is purchased by a halal meat organization in Bloom, Bloomfield, Connecticut, July 13, right? So the cow 
Metcalf is sitting in the live uh, store, the butcher shop, where you buy a live animal, and then the butcher chops it up for you, murders it, cuts it up into little pieces so that your children can eat the cow. That's what it is, a live auction. You can buy chickens there, whole chicken, and, and they walk the chicken over to the, to the chopping block and they chop his head off, they put it in a bag, and that's your dinner. Uh, it's common common practice in, in cities, right? Halal, apparently, is you have to slice the, the calf's throat in a certain way. Or it isn't, or it offends Islamic uh, religion. So, so, long story short, a cow is waiting for his death. Is sitting in the, in the parlor, away from the other cows in, in Connecticut somewhere. And he, he sees an opening, the, the young calf sees an opening and breaks out of the, runs for his life, ends up in a Staples parking lot, Home Depot, excuse me, Home Depot parking lot, he's running. No, don't fucking kill me, I don't want to die. Oh my God, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm, I'm up in here. I'm fucking, motherfuckers are going to kill me. He's muzzle, muzzle, my, 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 motherfucker, my, 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 cow's running for his ass, running to save his ass, right? The last chance he may have of a life. He doesn't know where he's going, but anything's better than being in the halal meat chopping block. Right? So he runs. He makes a break for it, right? He's out in the home fucking depot running around, running around looking for mommy. He's looking for his friends. He's looking for mommy. What happened? What the hell did I do? How, why am I here? Why am I dying? Why do I have to die? So, so there he is in the parking lot and a bunch of... Uh, the butcher, the butcher and the, the owner of the butcher joint that purchased his body, purchased the calf to chop up to sell to somebody. They come running, four of them, and they, 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 attack, they attack the calf. They tackle the calf, and they slice his throat right in the parking lot. They kill the calf right in the parking lot. Right? So, so initially, when, when that happened uh, on July 13th, it was... Um, animal cruelty. The guy was charged with animal cruelty, which isn't a big deal. It's probably like a, you know, misdemeanor of some sort. Slap on the wrist, right? Uh, the guy's name is Baha Bara Masad. <laughs> Mus Musaid. Musaid. Baha Musaid. 39 years old. He's let out on $10,000 bail for animal cruelty, right? And so, um, at the time, oh yeah, so I, I'm sorry. At the time, it was, um, I'm sorry, I, I correct that. At the time, it was public disturbance. That's what it was. It was public disturbance, which is, which is nothing. I think it's just a violation. Slap on the wrist. And they upped it to animal cruelty. Right, so, so that's the story, right? Simple story, right? So what's the big deal? What's the, what's the, why, why is it so cruel, I ask you, to kill the cow, the calf, the baby cow, and bring it back to, to where it was purchased so they could chop it up and sell it? Right? Isn't that the way it works? Oh, I understand. I see. I see. You got to see the murder. Oh, now, now we're so cruel. Oh, it's because, it's because you saw the nature of your, your actions. You see what actually happens to the calf. The cruelty of it, the, the betrayal, the running for its life. There is, no, there is no humane way, better way to kill an animal. Whether it happens where other people can see it, or you can seal it in the back of a butcher shop. The same fate, the same slicing of the throat, the same cruelty, the same insane, unnecessary murder of other beings. I say, well, I like meat. No, oh, I like, I like meat. I like my meat. Fuck that shit, man. You're a soy boy. You're a soy boy. It's bad for you. Unhealthy. Unhealthy soy boy. Uh, that's your, that's your, that's your rebuttal. That's your rebuttal? Oh, can't he's a soy boy. Ah, he gets some, he's some meat.
How many people would how many people would kill their own animal? Kill their own animal eat. I know there's a handful of you guys. You would shoot that mother, you shoot a deer, you shoot anything, right? Fucking anything that crosses over your property, you shoot it and eat it, I know. But for the major for the majority of people, if you had to kill your own calf, if you had to kill that calf, right? He's in your yard, you buy him, he's yours. You own him. You have you have spent human money, human currency, and you've purchased the cow. So he's yours. And now you can do what you will with it. You can kill it. You could keep it as a pet. But if you want to eat it, you gotta kill it. Right? So where's where so where so where are we as a human species? Where where because because the butcher and the butcher also claimed that they they um, they killed the calf out in public, or well, right where they found it because it could have trampled somebody, which is a legitimate concern. If a calf, you know, it's a I don't know how many hundred, maybe two hundred pound calf, darting through the street trying to run for its life, you know, will run you over, literally, right? So he's running for his life. Do you blame him? Well. So, so that was their alibi. The other, the other thing is that, the other part of it is that most of the time, because this happens often, not often, but enough where it makes the media, where when the animal is captured, once it makes an escape, if it is captured and the media puts a camera on it, it almost always gets amnesty. One of these, um, you know, the human rights guys or the people with farms, uh, sanctuaries will come and rescue the animal and let it live its life. It's it it, it um it survives the chopping block. That's not how it's going to go. It's going to live old age. It's live to its old age, you know, with other cows that were in the same situation, usually. But in this case, it didn't work out for the cow. The cow was tackled and 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 murdered in the street, and brought back to the chopping block, chopped up and give to, you know, given off to the people that purchased it. It speaks to the humanity, the inhumanity of people. Like right here, for example, right? Across the street is the veterinarian hospital. People say, take such good care of their dogs. My cat didn't like this place. I brought my old cat here. That fucking cat, they, it, took three, it took three doctors to, to hold the cat down and the, and the cat won. <laughs> right? But it speaks to the humanity of the inhumanity of, of people that will go as far as drawing pictures of their dogs. Right? Right? We love our dogs. We love our animals. We love our animals. Right? We love them so much that we'll paint pictures of them. You know what I mean? We have a hospital for our pets. But when it comes to but when it comes to a, a cow, wow, we don't give a shit about the cow. You kill a dog in the middle of the street, oh my god, it fucking it'd be like uh, the authorities will come and get you. But if you kill a cow running for its life, most of the time it doesn't matter. But this time it did. Why did it matter this time? Why does it matter? Shouldn't it? Shouldn't I mean look? There's fast food all over the place. I just walked out of McDonald's. There's a Kentucky Fried Chicken on my corner. That chicken, the most tortured creature on earth. Right? Shouldn't we? Shouldn't they all be charged with felonies? I don't know. What do you think? I I know what I think. I know what I think. I think that there are, as a clinical dietitian, as a as a health professional for many years, fresh out of high, uh, out of college, I do know that there is no legitimate reason why man needs to eat meat at this point in his evolution. There are so many alternatives to that. Right? So many alternatives and so many possible alternatives that we haven't discovered yet. Ways of crafting foods using vegetables. Seasoning foods to our liking. There's no reason to continue to brutalize other creatures. Does that violence transfer into the meat? Yes. I know there's a lot of you guys, the, the Pizzagate people, think that 
that uh, celebrities adrenalize babies and eat them. <laughs> Fucking sick people, man. Just the thought of that is crazy. Is there any proof of it? No. But nonetheless, every celebrity in, in, in Hollywood is a, is a pedophile baby-eating motherfucker. There's even babies on Mars, if you ask a couple of people. <laughs> but but when, when, a ba- when a cow, a baby cow is running for his life, and it's full of adrenaline, and you, and you eat it, you, you eat the murdered flesh, you don't think that that violence transfers into the, into the, uh, the creature? You don't think that the hormones that the animal is jacked up with uh, goes into your body? You don't think that the forced, unnatural diet of corn, as opposed to its natural diet of grass, has any effect whatsoever on the, on the quality of that flesh? I mean, you know, you've got to be kidding me if you don't think so. You're eating the, 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 the sheer... The sheer... Um, contradiction of people who will say oh I feel for that cow he shouldn't have been killed let's charge the butcher with a felony and then go eat a hamburger we'll go right to right out and eat a hamburger have a barbecue in their yard I don't know talk me out of it I know where I stand I think that I don't think I just think in this in this case for whatever reason I'm not I'm not calling people who eat meat murderers. I'm calling people who eat meat totally asleep at the wheel. That refuse to, to what? The only thing, the only justification for eating meat is subservientness to taste buds. That's it. It tastes good. So if that's, if that's the only, if that's your only Oh man, no, 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 man, man, a carnivore. No, 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 it's our, it's our evolution. Ah, a beast. I'm a beast. I eat meat. I eat fucking caveman. I eat meat. I need meat. That's your, that's your other argument? <laughs> I'm not buying that one either. So, I don't know. What's your, what's your opinion on it? I'm, I'm happy that uh, there is an organization like Impossible Meat and Beyond Meat, and I would say if you're a meat eater, you should definitely try it. Give it, give it your, um, sink your teeth into that. It's made with beets. It, it bleeds like, you know, it gives you all the, all the, the mouth feel of a real burger. It's interesting. It's an interesting food. Oh, it's fake. It's Frankenstein food. I don't fucking know Frankenstein food. I need real meat. Good luck with that idea. Marcus Conti reporting.